Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I want to share some tips to help you to speak up easily in a group discussion. Last year, when the pandemic happens in the United States, uh, we are all forced to work from home. At around April, May timeframe, we are identified as essential business and our managers hold up a staff meeting to discuss the plans to get us go back to work in the lab. In that meeting, for the first 30 minutes, I didn't speak anything out and also my peers didn't express any concern about going, to, going back to work. At almost the end of this meeting, I start to gather courage to speak up. I gently told my my boss saying that I'm leaving my with my mom and I really worried about if I contracted a virus that it might affect her. After I've been speaking up my concerns, uh, my manager smiled and tried to lighten up, say, you know what? I'm glad you speak up this issue and we're not forcing any of you to go back to work. It's totally voluntary. If you, do, if you are not ready or doesn't feel comfortable, you don't have to go to work. I felt such a relief after I speak this out. After this, I start to think about why do I st still hold up myself to certain cases like that to speak up? I did some research. I found there's, there are the following reasons. The first reason is uh, sometimes we think it's obvious we assume other, all the other people will know what we're thinking. The second reason people don't speak up is that the people will not listen or the decision has already been made. The third reason people don't speak up is they feel they don't want to look stupid in front of group. All of us wants to be common with others. If we have a different opinion, we're just too shy to express that out. The fourth reason that people don't speak up is they, they try to avoid conflict and uh, arguments. Like for me, I'm a, I'm a person that always seek harmony in, in the work environment. I try to avoid direct conflict. The other reason that people don't speak up is they don't feel safe to speak up. That also requires you to show vulnerabilities in a lot of times. So there's a lot of uh, difficult work requires a lot of courage to speak up in certain cases. So why sh still should we do it? Uh, there's a lot of reasons you should speak up. The first one is if you don't speak up, people will treat silent as a approval. For example, if there's a decision or there's a proposal, if you don't speak up, people will think you agree with their decisions. But if the reality is you don't agree with it, then it might cause problems in the future. The second reason you should speak up is that maybe there's no one else knows, knows about it. You are the only person that have experience or work on that issue or problem. If you don't speak up, it will just be missed out through this discussion. The third reason is that you might not be the only one that have the concern. Just like what I uh, shared the story about the uh, going back during pandemic, after I open up, a lot of my peers have the same ideas and they start to jump in. So that will encourage people have similar or even different ideas to jump in. The last reason I think you should speak up is there's a greater importance to speak up versus you just feel safe or feel comfortable about yourself being holding back because at the end of the day we want people to contribute to the shared pool knowledge so you may say am i introvert and i just don't feel comfortable to speak up in group discussions so how can i do it so here i can offer you several tips to get you prepared and uh, hopefully help you to speak up more easily in your next meeting The first one is look at the meeting agenda. Try to get yourself familiarized with what the topics are and try to see if there's anything you're interested to speak up. The second tip 
is try to plan and practice what you want to say in the meeting. As most of us are working from home now during the pandemic, you can just grab one of your family members to practice in advance. The third tips I want to offer is try to jump in fairly early, say within five to 10 minutes of the meeting. What that do is allows you to reduce your anxiety in terms of you have to speak up something. Once you already been open up a conversation at the beginning of the meeting, it will be much easier for you to jump in for the following discussions. The fourth tip is to regain control after interruption. A lot of the cases, if you are an introvert or you are shy to speak up, chances are there are people more willing to speak up. So they might interrupt what you are saying. So for those cases, what you need to do is first, try to use some gestures, for example, point your fingers up to show people you, you are not done yet. If they don't stop, you can start calling out their names. For example, if, if it's John, you will say, hey, John, can, can you let me finish my point first? The last one is just try to be confident. There's a reason you've been bought into this company and you are invited to this meeting for a reason. So don't think you cannot contribute. No one can take your chances away. So if you have anything to speak up, just speak up. I hope those tips will help you speak up in your next meeting. Please smash that like button if you enjoyed the video and uh, leave me comments down below. Thank you.